In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to use DeepSeek with N8N. I will show you two different ways of doing it. The first one will be for simpler use cases. The second one will be for more complex AI use cases. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off by clicking on add first step here. And this doesn't really matter what I pick. But for this simple example, I'm just going to click on trigger manually. And let's say we get an Airtable form that comes in or a chat from a telegram that comes in and we get some data. I'm going to set some mock data here. I'm just going to say message is how are you doing? Click on save and I should be good if I click on test step, right? This data will be ready for us. Next, we're going to click on the HTTP module uh, request here. And, you know, just like all data on the Internet, the way we do that is through HTTP, right? And in this case, for us to actually access DeepSeek's model and get data back, because keep in mind, we're not running this actual model, right? We're relying on a third party to run this model and give us that data back. HTTP is the request channel to actually do that. But you don't need to worry too much about that. In terms of how we're actually going to call DeepSeek, I personally like to use open router and the reason is because it's not just deep seek, it's all the LLMs that are out there, right? Like, I mean, we all know with how fast AI is moving, by the time you have this in your workflow, the next week something new will go come out and you have to manually go in there and change this request. And if it's like a different company, you have to change the URL. It's just such a pain. So what I like about open router is it's got a bunch of different models and you just, you know, it's just a simple line change. So if it goes from deep seek V3 to deep seek V4, I just change that line. My workflow stays the same. The URL stays the same and I just don't have to mess with it from a price point of view. It's basically the same. They might add like a little surcharge, but honestly, like it's a couple cents and I would rather just have the latest and greatest model then have to kind of finagle with it. So in open router, it's right here, DeepSeek V3. Um, if you have just signed up for this, you will have to add a little bit of credit. So the way you do that is by going to credits up here and your balance will be zero. As you can see, I've, I mean, I haven't even used anything. I think $5 is the minimum, but that should be way more than what you actually need to start testing this even every day. I'm going to go back to the home page here and click on DeepSeek V3. And funny enough, as of recording this video right now, this model is actually completely free to use. So take full advantage of it. To integrate this with NNN, I'm going to go to API here. And um, first thing you need to do is create an API key. So I've already created a couple, but if you haven't, I can just do this with you guys. Let's call this YouTube Demo 2. I don't know. Click on Create. I'm going to copy this key. Make sure to save this somewhere and exit out of this. Go back. So ultimately, we need to put in all this URL information, API key stuff into NNN here. But a quick way to do it, this is a shortcut, not a lot of people talk about this online. If you just go to curl here and click on copy and then go back here and import CURL, paste it over here, then what you're going to notice is that your fields will automatically populate so you don't have to kind of mess with all these settings or even know what it actually is. There's only two things we need to change. The first is the API key. So I'm going to paste my own API key, make sure not to include the dollar sign here. This is how open router knows that it is you who's accessing your own account. And that's also why you have to make sure the credits are filled up and also why you don't want to share that with anyone because they will use your credits. If I scroll down here, the second thing that we need to change is this content. So if I zoom in here, right, the model, like I said before, you can pick whatever model you want. Um, so if deep seek V5 comes out, you can literally just change this and the rest of the workflow stays the exact same, which is just really nice in my opinion. Uh, for messages, role is user, content, this is like equivalent to what are we typing in a chat GPT and clicking enter on. In this case, like what is meaning of life? I mean, it's an interesting question, but we want to put in what we get as input from our previous step. It could be a chatbot, it could be um, an Airtable record, it could be a form, it doesn't really matter, right? But we want it to be dynamic. And you're going to notice how are you doing is populated over here and we should be good to go. So if I click on test step, you're going to notice the response we get back. I'm just going to do JSON for readability if I scroll down here. Content, I am a program, so I don't have feelings, but I'm here and I'm ready to help you. How are you doing? This is the first way to do it. I personally like using the HTTP module unless I'm using an AI agent, which is the second way, but this is just cleaner in my opinion. The other way, if I just exit out of this and exit out of this is we're going to use a chat message as the input and this is fine. We can just leave it as it is. The second module we're going to pick is AI agent. So. You may or may not be familiar with this, but this is, I guess, the AI agent module within NNN that allows you to access memory, access tools, and so on. Where DeepSea comes in is with the chat model. So I'm going to click on plus sign here. And I believe at this time we have an open router chat module. So our life is actually pretty easy. The only thing that we need to do here is click on create a new credential, put in your API key here, and everything that kind of we did before is automatically done for you, right? And if you're wondering why don't we do this from the start, the reason is because if I click on plus sign and type in open router here, 
it expects me to kind of use it with the AI agent. I don't know why that is, but sometimes we don't need a full AI agent. We don't need that kind of complexity. So that's why the first use case comes in. This is for a more complex use case. If I double click on this, it's super simple. I just pick one model. So if I just type in DeepSeek R1 or DeepSeek chat free, click on this. So to test this, all I have to do is click on chat down here and let's say, how are you doing today? It's gonna do its thing, the AI agent and specifically this model here, which in this case is a deep seek model. And after thinking, thank you for asking, I'm here and ready to assist you with whatever you need. How are you doing today? So that's gonna wrap up this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe if you want more in-depth AI and in -depth tutorials just like this. If you wanna see how I built an AI agent to respond to my email inbox every single day, 24 seven, watch this video over here. And if you want to see how I scrape Google Maps to get an unlimited amount of leads to cold call, to sell, whatever it is you want, watch this video over here. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.